I first heard of the Auburn Oaks when the news coverage about it became national. The fact that someone would poison a living monument was something I'd never seen before. I went to view the trees as living and I looked more what had the most interest. Ultimately I picked the one on College Street. There was a a, a Y or a, you know, like a fork in the tree at the very, very top of you know, almost the crown. And that's the section I actually created the museum piece from. It had tremendous character where this, this intersection of those two massive limbs and they were, they were really massive. I work with wood from trees from all over the country. They die from all different reasons. They have a cycle of life. The interest came from the fact they grew in this urban environment. I'm sure they went through some rough love from the, the generations of students. In wood turning as an art form, you're only given what nature provides. You don't have any, at least in the sculpting that I do, we don't have an enhancement. There is no better way. It's a revelation process, so I want to uncover and reveal what's underneath in the best way possible, and you have one shot at that. That's the artistry of it, is dissecting this uh, before you begin, because you can miss on pieces, and the character and interest can be not as main or focal uh, on, on the, the sculpture itself. With the piece for Auburn, the attention to it was greater than I would receive from normal pieces that I've done it brings in a different audience because there's not only my namesake as an artist but it incorporates Auburn into it as well. I tried to keep perspective on that as I went through the creative forming of it and one of the things I did intentionally leave bark on both sides of the piece and uh, to two reasons. One was to maximize the size of the, the final bowl, but also for the family of Auburn who knew the tree to have kind of that outside inward perspective to the tree. There's also a, what's called a bark inclusion at the very top of the piece, and that's where the two major limbs were reaching. That was significant not only to the character of the piece, but to the historical context. And so it's, it was an interesting piece where this, the sum is greater than its parts.